Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, and I am the owner and creator here at All Things Well Happy. And today we're gonna to be working on a glitter tumbler. We're gonna be using three different glitter colors, which we're gonna separate with the washi tape. It's a pretty simple technique that I'd like to show you. A friend of mine had asked me to make her a tumbler which showcases her heritage. So I thought I'd use the colors of her country's flag. So join me as we get this tumbler started. All right, so what I have here is a 20 ounce tumbler from Craft Haven Tumblers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep the outside with a soft grit sanding block. Just gonna go all the way around just to scuff the outside because we want the glitter to adhere, the epoxy to adhere. You just want it to grab onto something instead of the smooth surface of the tumbler. So we're just going to lightly scuff all around it. And then we're just gonna add some alcohol to a paper towel and we're just gonna clean off what we just sanded, like all that disgusting mess. We're just gonna get it off. Okay, I'm just gonna let that dry for a second. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna measure my tumbler and it's eight inches long. So I do want to split that into three separate sections and I want them to be even. So I'm going to put a tape around about two and five eighths. So I'm just gonna mark that up with a pencil here. And I'm gonna go this way, two and five eighths. Okay. And then I'm just gonna put the tape on the inside underneath the mark. Okay. All right. So these three, uh, these uh, sections, I'm actually gonna separate it with some washi tape after I'm done glittering it. So it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. But I just want to make it as close to even as I possibly can. And I'm pretty good with eyeballing it. Okay, so we're just gonna line up the tape we're all set, make sure it's nice and flat. All right, so the reason I put the tape in the center is because that's where I'm gonna lay the lightest color and you always wanna lay the lightest color of glitter last, okay? Because you don't want to do the, the white first and then you sprinkle on red and then it's going to contaminate the white. So the white, you always wanna do last, any light colors. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin painting the base of my tumbler. If you have spray paint, you can go ahead and use spray paint is freezing outside, so I'm just gonna use paint. All right, now that I have my colors all set, I'm just gonna begin painting. And the paint I got from Michaels, and it's nice and it just works perfect for what I need it for. I'm just gonna paint the second color. All right, so after we're done painting those two colors, we're just gonna let that dry for a second. If you don't want it to dry, you can just use a heat gun and dry it quicker. All right, so now that we are all dry, I'm just going to add some Mod Podge to the one color. And you just wanna evenly coat it everywhere. You don't want it chunky anywhere, just a nice thin coat, but you do wanna move quick because it does dry quick. Um, it doesn't matter if you go over this blue tape because we're going to be taking that off anyway. Okay, so now we're going to put on some bright green. This is a fine bright green color. You just want to tap off any excess. All right, so now while that is drying, I'm going to do my next color, which is the red. And you just wanna make sure you tap off any of that excess green glitter, okay? And now we're gonna do the red. We just wanna make sure that all the Mod Podge is nice and laid flat all around. All right. And then we are going to put on some Merry Red. And we're just gonna sprinkle that on all around. 
And this is also a fine cut of the Merry Red. And then we're just gonna tap the excess red glitter off. And then we're just gonna set that to the side. And what we wanna do is we just want to let both those colors dry out because what we're gonna do is we're gonna dust off the excess glitter and then we're gonna remod podge it and re-glitter it. Once that is done drying, we're just gonna dust off any of the excess glitter. And you want to make sure that the glitter is completely dry after your first coat because if you apply the Mod Podge to the wet glitter, it will make it very clumpy and you'll have chunks everywhere and it just doesn't look pretty, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna begin recoating. This is actually a nice, the glitter actually gave a nice coverage. You don't even need to do a second coat, but I don't know. I like to do two coats of glitter always because any opportunity I get to sprinkle glitter, I will take. Okay, and we're just gonna move it all the way around. Make sure all right, it's once nice. I have a nice even coat of the Mod Podge on, I'm going to sprinkle my bright green one last time. Make sure you get it everywhere. All right, so now we want to take any excess of that red glitter off. And now I'm just gonna begin applying the Mod Podge again, all the way around, a nice even coat. And make sure you get the Mod Podge all the way to the edges. And the edges is actually where it begins to dry the quickest. So when you lay down your glitter, make sure you do the edge first. All right, and now we're just gonna begin sprinkling on or bright or merry red. And we're gonna tap off any excess and then we're gonna let this completely dry. All right, so now that this is dry, we don't wanna dry this overnight or for hours. It does dry quick, but you just wanna make sure it's dry. We just wanna dust off any extra glitter and then we're going to go ahead and we're gonna peel this off. If you let the Mod Podge and the glitter dry longer than it needs to, when you start peeling off the tape, it will actually bring up some chunks of this. So we don't want that. So we just, once it's dry, we just wanna peel it off. There you go. And then I'm just gonna dust off the edge. And then what I'm gonna do before I paint this white is I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna spray this with the clear gloss. So that way the red, the red and the green do not get onto the white color when I put the white on, okay? So we wanna keep the glitter in its place. We don't want it moving around when we begin to put epoxy on because you're not gonna like the way that looks. So I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna spray this on. I'm gonna let that dry off for a bit and then I'm gonna begin my white coat. All right, now that we have this, Tried. What I'm gonna do is make sure there's nothing on here. I'm gonna begin painting it white. And I'm just gonna go from the center first. All right, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of paint on my brush. I'm just gonna get close to the edge without it getting onto my red. So I'm just gonna swoosh it up. Like I said, I'm gonna use washi tape most likely or vinyl to do a really thin layer around each individual color. Let's do the other side. I'm just gonna let that dry. All right, once our white paint is dry, we are going to add some Mod Podge, okay? And just gonna do the center first. Actually, let me use this fuzzy brush. Okay, so I make sure it's nice and even all around, no lumps anywhere. Just 
take your time when it gets to the edge do the edge last so that it stays wet and now we're going to add some of the white and this is also a fine cut and we're just going to sprinkle that all around and we are going to do another coat of this so it's okay if it didn't get everywhere i'm just going to let that dry now that this is dry i'm just going to do my second coat of the mod podge I would definitely lay the Mod Podge in the center first and then do the edge where it connects to the other colors last. And then we're just going to use a thinner brush to get the edge. It doesn't dry as fast as it does when you put the first coat on. For some reason when you lay the second coat it uh, takes a bit longer to dry, but it does dry just not as fast. And you want to make sure there's no lumps of the Mod Podge, like a, like a line of it. You don't want any of that. And then just really slowly, just take your time here. All right, now that you have your Mod Podge everywhere and it is nice and flat, we're gonna add our last coat. That's a chunk there, we don't want that. We're gonna add our last coat of the glitter. Sprinkle that everywhere. Right, once you're done, you just wanna rub off any white glitter that may have gotten onto the green and the red. And then you're gonna let this completely dry. Once it's dry, we're gonna spray it with the clear gloss one more time, and then we're going to epoxy it. Okay, so I'm using 30 mils. I'm using 15 of part A and 15 of part B. Okay, so now we are all set, and I'm just gonna start doing this one. All right, I'm just gonna hit it with some heat. That's it, and then we're done. We're just gonna let that sit for about eight hours. All right, so now that this is finished drying, I'm just gonna get a fine sanding block. I just did it really fine here, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a really thin ribbon of this around it, and I just want this to be really smooth. Because when you're applying any type of vinyl on epoxy, and if it's any type of texture, the texture will come through this and you'll, you'll see like little bumps and we don't wanna see that. So I just took some alcohol on the cloth and I'm just gonna wipe off any of that dust. All right, okay. so what I have here is washi tape that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and I actually have a red and a green and I'm just gonna use this to line between the green and the white and I'm just gonna follow along the seam. Just kind of center it. And then just roll it as I go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this piece here. Take that off. And then I'm just gonna roll this right over that top. Just a slight little overlap. Make sure it looks nice and even, which it does. And now we're gonna do the red one. I want my seams to be on the same side. So this is where I started and ended. And so this is where I'm going to start and end too. And so you want to do the same thing on both sides. Line one with the red and line one, line one with the green.
And I'm just going to do a slight overlay. And then just kind of. So now that I've laid both pieces on, what I'm going to do is just make sure it's firmly pressed down. And I just want to glide my finger all the way around to make sure it's nice and flat. And then what I always like to do is use the CC DIYs Quick Coat as a sealer. And I'm just going to go along the edge of the ribbon that I just put down, the washi tape, just to make sure that there are no bubbles or any type of lifts where the epoxy can seep through. I just like to go along the tape and then I like to go up and down. And you want to do this on both colors. All right, once you're done applying the quick coat epoxy sealer, you just want to let this dry. I usually let it dry for about 30 minutes and then I'm going to put a really thin coat of epoxy resin onto this. So we're just going to let this dry. All right, so now I'm in my epoxy room and I'm just gonna put a really thin layer of epoxy over the two pieces of washi tape that I put here. I find that it looks better when you do a thin coat of epoxy over any vinyl layering that you have if you wanna layer more vinyl on top of it. So I'm gonna epoxy this so it's nice and smooth and then when I put my next layer of vinyl over it, you won't see these little ridges underneath that vinyl. And that's what I want to do. So I'm just going to use a little, I'm just going to use 20 mLs, 10A and 10B, and I'm using the Illuminite's Amazing Quick Coat. All right, so I'm just going to begin pouring. And we're just going to put a really thin layer. Just want to smooth it all the way around, get your edges. I'm going to hit it with quick heat from my torch just to get out any bubbles that may uh, freeze to the surface and that's it we're just gonna let this roll around for about four to five hours all right our tumbler is now dry and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make sure that the top is a bit smooth and that the bottoms are smooth and that there's no sharp like bumps around it and we're just gonna take so I'm just going to sand the top of my tumbler to make sure that the edge is nice and smooth when I put my next coat of epoxy on and the bottom as well because just right here feels a little rough so I'm just going to smooth that out a little bit so that when I put my next coat of resin on it'll be super smooth um, this is fine all right, so I'm gonna put a decal on here. So wherever you wanna put your decal, you do wanna make sure that the resin is nice and flat so that when you put the decal on, you don't see any bumps underneath it because it will like make the decal raise. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put my decal here so I just wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. All right. I'm just gonna clean that with alcohol. All right, so once you have your image and I have it weeded and ready to go here, I did um, a five by two image with an offset of 0 0.097. This is a 20 ounce tumbler. So that is what I did. And now I'm just gonna find where I wanna put this image. I'm gonna make sure it's the smoothest area. And I'm just gonna center it. And then push down. You do want to make sure it's nice and flat. No bubbles. So now that I have my image on, I am going to coat it with CC DIY's Quick Coat. I use this on all of my images that I do put down. 
Gonna put a really thin coat all around it. You wanna make sure that you apply this in every direction. So up and down and side to side. I find that this prevents any lifting or any um, resin getting underneath the decal. All right, so we're just gonna let this dry and make sure you clean your brushes because it will destroy your brush. All right, so I'm using the Illuminite Quick Coat Epoxy and I am doing 25 mLs. So I did 12.5 A and 12.5 B. And I'm just gonna mix this. Starts off clear, it gets cloudy, and then it'll go clear again. You wanna make sure there's no swirls, no lines going through the epoxy. All right, so now that we're done, it's nice and clear. And then we're just going to slowly begin to pour this. I like to use just like controlled portions like this. Just gonna hit it with a torch, pop any bubbles that come to the surface. I just kind of like to let this spin for a little bit, about a minute, and then I like to go and take a look and make sure that I don't see any bubbles myself, and if I do, I'll just use a toothpick and just pop them. And we're just gonna let this spin for about four to five hours until it's fully dry. Hey guys, so our tumbler is now completed. I think she's gonna love it. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, which I hope you did, please like and subscribe. I do drop videos every Monday. And with that, I'll see you next Monday. Why not use the three, the three colors of washi tape? It's a pretty sim simple that different glitter colors asked me to make her a tumbler. Simple technique, not difficult basic tutorial we're going to be using three different colors we're going to be using three different glitters it's pretty basic it's 